I'm not sure whether I will include the setup that I just did. Um, there's a little bit of trial and error in it, but it's pretty basic. Had a quick look at the images on the web. Uh, there's your ground mount here, which is just the stake driven into the ground. It's only aluminium, so be really careful if you're going to get this. Don't drive it with a steel hammer. You want to just use a rubber mallet, like the one over there. Here's our Ford feed point, or as I think they refer to it as a feed point isolator. So obviously that um, isolates from the ground here. Um, there's just a crimp, a ring crimp here, uh, which goes out to your ground wires. And I'll just run them out there, uh, just opposite. Uh, and one nice little modification I noticed that uh, the previous owner has made. Uh, it just put a little bit of shrink wrap. I don't know whether this is original or not. A little bit of a, a crimp there, and a little bit of shrink wrap, and then he's put a uh, little uh, cable tie on the end there, which will be nice for for pegging it out. But for now, we're just going to stick it down there like that. Just going to lay them out. So from the feed point isolator, which is a feed point uh, again, which looks like it's really well made. Not sure whether I can use these screws for anything. Up into the four sections of aluminium mass which screw into each other is our coil here and then the telescopic whip up there now all told it's supposed to go up about eight foot i believe uh what do we say about 310 centimeters uh, according to the the image so that's it there uh there's our our wanderer with the clip uh now he did say that he added this up the top here uh, for the higher bands, I'm not sure what he's referring to as higher bands, but uh, we can clip that and, and just go straight into the top there and just go uh, completely bypass that coil. But uh, it should be interesting. So let's pop that back in there. Now, as far as the the clip goes, you've probably all seen these before if you're into this sort of thing. Uh, that just unscrews, and there you go. Sorry, uh, YouTube special one-handed. Uh, take that off and you can see hopefully you can see just there uh, if that doesn't come out real well in the video we'll do another quick shot of it inside uh, so there is actually a recessed piece in the plastic there which that clip will go into it just hooks on uh, and then you plug your your banana clip uh, into the end of that hopefully that's showing up the banana clip just goes in the end uh, so there we go. So what I'm going to do, I've got that telescopic whip fully extended. Uh, I believe I'm going to have to reduce that or, or you know, telescope it inwards to get it tuned, but I'm just going to go with it fully extended and, and just work off the coil for now. Uh, one other thing that I did see in some of the feedback on EHAM is that the telescopic whip, uh, they said, was low quality. Uh, but to be honest, I don't know whether this is a, a second generation or something one, but this one's uh, pretty good, actually. I was pretty impressed with this, the thickness at, at the bottom. You can see that's uh, on that maybe a centimetre, a little bit over a centimetre thick there. So a bit over 10 mil. That's probably, say, mm, I don't know, 15 mil, maybe, one and a half centimetres. Uh, and it telescopes up to about two and a half metres. Uh, one thing I have noticed... And one of the examples I did see a guy, uh, I think it might have been in Japan or something, I might apologise if, if you're not, uh, and there's any video on YouTube that I could find of this, he, he did have this guide out, and at this point, I'm going to suggest that it probably would be good to guide it just here, it is a little bit unstable, but at the moment, luckily enough, I don't have any wind, so we're going to jump over to the 817, sorry, the 857, and uh, see if we can... Uh, I don't know, I might just pick 20 metres or 40 metres or something like that, see where that activity is and see if we can just tune it by uh, going up and down that coil for noise, all right? Uh, I'm a mind reader and I'm sorry, now, anybody else? Was I too quick? No, I wasn't. Okay, g'day John, g'day Max, g'day John, g'day Paul, g'day Okay, Jeffrey. so this is interesting, so right, I've got it yeah, set up. Right. I don't have the coil <laughs> set up at all. Yeah, I right, haven't even replugged that uh, yeah. wander lead back on. And in fact, I've still got, got the... The clip sitting in my hand because I don't want to lose that. I don't know how easy they are to find. Um, but it looks like I've picked up a net um, straight up. Haven't tested for SWR or anything at this point. But I had a 
So what I've done is I've just jumped over and put the wonder lead basically on the the bottom was uh, I probably should have set the radio up a bit closer so I could watch the the S meter but we've got into an S9 plus uh, and I'll just basically put it on the bottom of the coil uh, and see what we get there but uh, as you can see it come in pretty good uh, VK7 I'm in VK2 located in Newcastle um, which is I don't know, about 150 k's north of Sydney uh, VK7 is Tasmania, uh, so probably, I don't know, over 2,000 k's away, give or take, I'll, I'll, I'll chuck that up, probably closer to 2,500 or something, uh, look, yeah, I don't know, not for sure, uh, and then the other guys are in VK1, which is uh, ACT, our capital uh, territory here for Australia, so, uh, look, that's that's great, just to start with, just plugging it all together and having it working like that, um, conditions around haven't been great but the guys seem to suggest that it's all right at the moment so we'll jump back and we'll just see uh, what other guys we get coming in Okay, again, what I was doing is just gone back over to the antenna and was just having a bit of a play with that lead. It's obviously a lot easier to tune up uh, when you've got a, a lower power station or a station that's not coming through real good. When I was tuned up with the other fellow that was sort of, you know, already an S8, S7, S8, it was difficult to hear any improvement. Uh, but when I was having to play with, air, with that guy that was sort of, you know, I don't know, S1, S2 or whatever he was, um, I could definitely hear an audible improvement. So that, that helps a lot. So I guess that's a bit of a secret there is to you know, uh, find yourself a, um, a station down in the mud somewhere and, and, and see if you can pull them out and improve their signal that way. So, alright, let's have a bit of a tune around and see what we get and then we're going to see, uh, see if we're going to pick up and see what the SWR looks like.
go. That's this uh, local VK2 six meter repeater, which is only uh, I don't know 20 kilometers from me. So it explains why I'm getting an S9 plus. But I haven't tuned that back down from uh, from 10 meters. You hear that mongrel dog across the road. But I haven't tuned that back down from 10 meters, uh, and that's obviously pulling out an S9 plus. Uh, if I tune it, it'll probably come in S9 plus plus. Um, we're basically the the dipole that I've got up at the moment um, and even the chameleon antenna sitting over there uh, none of them bring it in at this strong so maybe the conditions are a little bit different at this point and you know it should rip through this place because it's so close uh, but this is doing a fantastic job so really impressed uh, across all the bands so we've obviously checked out 40 we've checked out 20 uh, a quick have a look on 10 uh, a spin through 15 we've also up here on 6 and uh, at this point yeah really really impressed Okay, so hopefully you saw that, and what I was doing was just um, checking the SWR again, just on the meter, on the actual 857 itself. Uh, but what I've actually done is remove one of these pieces, uh, which is about 30 centimeters or so, and uh, again, brought the, the whip down. Uh, uh, we've got there about three sections, give or take. Again, that bloody dog. Uh, anyway, we've got the... One of the lead, completely bypassing the coil, um, and that's why I've managed to get good uh, good SWR on 10. Uh, so let's go back and have a bit of a play with that. Uh, it looks like this is just going to be a lot of trial and error. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find anybody that's got any pointers on it using it, and, and measurements, and where they suggest using the coil, etc. like that. Um, you know, save me some time, but for the most part, this looks like it's going to be fun. Uh, at this point, shows promise. Uh, a little bit more fiddling to come, and uh, hopefully some some improved results but at this point I oh yeah, couldn't be happy with it for the hundred bucks that I outlaid this looks like an ideal backpacking antenna and uh, very impressed so I'll talk to you all soon yeah